Welcome. In this video, we're going to be going over LeetCode 206, Reverse a Linked List. Here's a problem on LeetCode, and as you can see in the example, it has a list going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as an output, it expects 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're going to be doing this iteratively with a while loop. Okay, so I'm going to hop on over to draw.io. And as you can see, I replicated the example that they gave us. So the head node will be 1. And it's a list going one, two, three, four, five. And five is pointing at null. Okay. So essentially what they want you to do is to reverse the order of this linked list. And to do that, you can simply take the next value for each node and point it at the one that came before it. In this case, one is the head node. So it'll be pointing at null, like so. And two will be pointing at one, like so. 3 will be pointing at 2, like so. 4 will be pointing at 3, and 5 will be pointing at 4. As a return value, it expects you to return the new head node, which should be 5. So that's the reverse linked list. Okay, so I'm going to undo all of this. And now we're going to have to talk about approach. So what is the conceptual solution here? Okay, well, we can try using two pointers. Okay, so I'm gonna move head for now, and I'm going to take pointers P and Q. We're going to put P where the head was, or where the head is, and we're going to set Q to null. Okay, so let's try reversing it immediately. Okay, I'm going to take the node at P, and I'm going to point it at null. And now we're going to traverse the linked list. I'm going to take Q and I'm going to move it over to P. And I'm going to take P and I'm going to move it over to 2. But there's a problem here. How does P know how to get to 2? Remember, we just removed this bridge here. 1 is now pointing at null. It is no longer pointing at 2. As a result, P is unable to get to 2. So let's rewind a little bit here. Okay. What if instead of using two pointers, we use three? Okay, so I have R here as well. Now with three pointers, I can use two of them to do the reversal and two to maintain that reference to the next node. So let's begin the operation. I'll move R to Q, Q to P, and P to P next. Okay, and once I'm over here, I can take the node at one and point it to wherever R is pointing. In this case, I'm going to point one to null. Now let's continue the iteration. I'm going to move R to Q, Q to P, and I'm going to move P to three. Excuse me. And then we can resume the reversal. So point Q to R, and then move the pointers forward. Now I'm going to keep continuing this until we reach the end. Okay, well eventually you'll see that P reaches null. And when P reaches null, that means we have reached the end of the linked list. That must mean that Q is pointing at the new head node. So we can set the head node to wherever Q is pointing at, in this case, five. So now I'll remove these pointers and this should be the new linked list, the new reverse linked list, starting from five and ending at null. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I encourage you to try this on your own and give it a good shot. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my code editor. As you can see, I actually replicated that linked list that they gave us as an example. And here, as you can see, I am actually printing this list. In my terminal, you can see one, two, three, four, five. Our goal is to change this to five, four, three, two, one. So let's start by creating a function. I'm going to call this reverse list, and it's going to take in a parameter. I'm going to take this, I'm going to call this parameter head, and it's going to be a list node with a generic of number, or it could be a null. 
and the return and the return type will be the same. Okay. And the return type is complaining because it expects a return. So I will return head. I'm going to quickly do a null check because if the parameter is null, then I'll return null. Okay. So let's start by creating those three pointers. I'm going to call one P and it's going to be a list node. Or it could be a null value because remember P reaches the end of the list. In this case, I'm going to point it at head. Now I'm going to do two copies, one for Q and one for R. Okay. And these will start off at null. Okay. I saved and then it auto reformatted. So let's start with the iteration. I'm going to create a while loop and I'm going to say while P. Okay. This will exit the loop when P reaches null. The first thing that we're going to do here is actually traverse through the length list. In this case, we want R to equal to Q and then Q to equal to P and then P equal to P next. And here's where the magic happens. We want whatever node is at Q to point at R. So in this case, we want Q next equals R. But remember, Q started at null. So this might not even be possible at some points. So we're going to do a null check if Q and eventually P will hit null and then we will exit the while loop. Once that occurs, well, Q should be the new head. So we're going to type in head equals Q and then return head. So now instead of simply printing the list node, I'm going to print reverse list with the list node. Okay. And as you can see in my terminal, I am getting five, four, three, two, one. Okay. My development environment is automatically building the file. So I'll go to my JavaScript file, pull that out and copy it into leak code and submit. And there you go. Success. Well, that was a pretty easy one. I hope you find this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.